What's going on guys and well there is a new vehicle added to GTA Online today the Vapid Slam Truck. Now this truck can be bought for $1,310,000 which is uh, kind of expensive um, but anyway let's go customize it and then test it out a little bit. Let's see so armor, brakes, front bumpers, okay. Oh actually pretty cool. I'll go with that one on there. That looks pretty cool. Engine. All right, let's see. Exhaust. Oh, okay. I'm not even going to lie. That looks pretty dope. <laughs> I'm just going to put that on there. All right, let's see. Grills. Okay, so this customization is pretty good so far. Uh, uh, whoa. Okay, then. I'm going to probably end up going with... I don't know, actually. I kind of like, uh, put that one on there, actually. Hood, let's see. Making what is... Stressful. Oh, the sides are changing. Okay, okay. So what is actually changing? So there's a line on that one. And then there's that line. And then there's Vapid. And then Vapid. Okay. Oh, I'll go with that one. Don't care about horns, lights. We leave the regular lights on there for now. Let's uh you can think it, I can do it. Let's change the color first, actually. Let's put it, let's make it white. I'll do secondary color white as well. Let's see what liveries we can put on it now. Oh. Oh, that's pretty cool. At least some of them I'll put a white. Yeah, you can see the stripe actually. Okay. That's pretty cool. So there's a lot of pretty cool liveries for it so far. I mean, that's pretty dope. I might have to put that on there. Tune-ups. Okay, so the liveries are pretty cool. I wonder how many people are actually going to buy this truck though. One million is kind of a lot for it. I'm gonna go with that one on there. I think there's anything on the back, is there? No, okay. Mirrors. Think long and hard. Put those in there. Kinda cool. Out of the way a little bit. Transmission, turbo, visors. Oh, okay. What the? Okay, well, um. I don't know about that one. I think I'm gonna go with doesn't really matter except the primary and secondary the same color, so I'll put that one on there. Alright, wheels. Now what kind of wheel should I put on here? Should what I go street? Technology mm. and budget permitting. Maybe I shouldn't go street actually, it kinda of looks Actually that looks pretty cool. Those on there. see I just don't want the rims to like be super big oh that oh that looks pretty nice on there actually I'll go with those paint them uh, black obviously bulletproof tires because you know everyone's gonna blow my tires out I'll go with uh go with yellow atomic on there and then windows that's pretty much all the customization. Actually has more than I thought it would, to be honest. Um, let's go drive it now and test out a little bit. Alright, so arriving out of the garage, let's take a look at it. Kind of interesting looking. Oh, that wheel spin though. I mean, we're not really racing this thing around though. Let's check out first person. Okay. Definitely kind of weird. Definitely kind of weird. Obviously, it's not fast, but not supposed to be. Oh, look, a bike. Perfect. Might as well test this right away, because I know everybody's going to want to see this. All right. So, obviously, you could probably launch a bike off of it. Let's see.
Yep, I'm gonna laugh if I totally just face plant this. Okay. I agree, pedestrian, I agree. So, obviously, get caught on it, but you can load it. And I doubt this thing's gonna stay on here, but let's see. Bike's about to head out, and there it goes. Okay, so obviously you can't winch anything to it. Um, yeah, you already know what I'm thinking here. Let's go crazy. Wait. Okay, now that we got the truck, I want to try that on there now. You guys already know this had to be done. Let's see if it would... Uh, I'm sure it'll probably fit on there, but... Let's see. Oh, sorry. Is it gonna fit? Actually, I don't think it will, but you know what? Eat it. Oh. Okay. Well, it's worth a shot, right? Well, obviously that didn't work, so I'm gonna go try this uh, 4 GT looking car now over here. Okay, pedestrian. Alright, let's see. Oh no. Well. Uh, okay. I'm gonna need you to back up, pedestrian. Alright. I'm sure this car can probably get on there. Bruh. Well, guys, you've seen it here. So, so far, the thing I can get on there is a bike. Well, that's kind of disappointing. Now I'm gonna get attacked by cops. Slam van, help me. I'll go this way. Well, that pretty much shows it there, guys. Um, cars cannot get loaded onto it. Uh, bikes can, but they fall right off. So you pretty much saw it there that well. Just putting it out there, I would recommend not to buy this truck. I don't think it's worth a million dollars at all. <laughs> Actually, I kind of think it's a waste of a million dollars. But if you have a lot of money to spend, might as well just, I guess, add it to your garage. But unfortunately, this thing doesn't really do anything. I couldn't even load the cars onto it, so... I don't really know the point of the ramp body on the back of it, actually, because... Kind of odd, but... It's kind of just there, I guess, maybe? In order to put that on there, you have to get, like, the ruiner and, like, jump it on there, and... Well, you shouldn't have to go through all that, and once you get it on there, it'll just fall off, so... Kind of odd, but... It's what it is, I guess, right? Anyway, guys, that'll pretty much sum the video up. Um, basically... To sum this up, I would have to say just to not buy this unless you have a lot of money to waste. It unfortunately doesn't really do anything. And the hood opens on it. Do I even dare to look at that? Okay. But yeah, guys, that'll pretty much sum it up. I would recommend not buying this truck, personally. Um, I don't think it's worth a million dollars at all. If you have a lot of money to waste, maybe. But there's definitely other things you can spend a million dollars on. Thank you guys so much for watching.